Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Today we are going to be exploring more of the Scottish Highlands. So in our last video, we went up to Danoon to the Cowl Gathering, which was a blast. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. But we didn't really get to see that much of the Highlands because we were just up there for the games. But Scotland is basically divided into kind of the Northwest, which is the Highlands, and the Southeast, which is the Lowlands. And we're gonna kind of cross right over into the Highlands and uh, explore it a bit today and see if we can find some adventures. When we were at the uh, the Cowell Gathering, we ran into a viewer of ours and he recommended this town called Inverary, I think is how you say it. And uh, we looked it up and it looks really cool. It's got these like white buildings. It's got uh, an old castle. There's another, some more castle ruins nearby that we might go check out. They have an old jail and all kinds of stuff. Um, so we figure we're gonna go check that out first and see what that town's all about. And then maybe we'll go see one of the castles, castle ruins nearby or something like that. Yeah, I'm really be cool. excited because the drive we did the other day to the Cowl Gathering we got a little taste of it, what we'll see today, and it was uh, some, some pretty amazing yeah. hills and sheep and landscape. It was awesome. Lots of locks. So I'm really excited to be able to like stop and look and explore. But yesterday we actually ended up taking the day off and we just needed to do a little bit of shopping and pick up a few items, uh, mostly like a little bit of winter gear because it's, it's pretty cold up here, <laughs> yeah, colder we than we were expecting. A little sweater and hats just yeah. in case. But we also picked up an item we've been meaning to get for a while now, these little cups here. So you guys know we drink a lot of coffee and a lot of the times we get it to go and we always feel a little bad because of all the plastic that we that we create. So we wanted to get these reusable cups that we can use every time we go to a coffee shop or anytime we're getting it to go so we don't have to create so much waste. But we figured we would put, like in the description, we'll put like an Amazon affiliate link or something like that where you can pick up cups like this. So if you want to just you know, use less plastic. It's a small gesture. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but maybe if a lot of us do it, it'll make a difference. I don't know. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. But we'll leave a link below and it'll, it's a way you can support the channel too because we get a very, very small uh, cut back from Amazon if you use those links to buy the cups. But we'll link to those. You can pick those up and that way you can bring them to the coffee shop and you won't have to create so much plastic. Yeah, and some coffee shops even give you a discount if you bring your own cup. So it's wins all around. But we are just now entering the Highlands, so we are going to shut up and uh, just show off the beautiful scenery to you guys. to stop and check out this amazing scenery you guys so it's pretty incredible look, look what's behind me <laughs> it's wild what do you think i guess it's fine you know if we have to look at this for a while it's pretty chilly I guess we have to. yeah but it's really other than cold that, it's amazing but it's so beautiful i love it here in the uk they always have you guys have such epic green scenery and then the gray skies i feel like just really makes it pop it's just so beautiful and right now we've got all this fog rolling in on the hills over there. It's very cool. A little windy, but very cool. So this is about where we started and we've so far drove all the way up to here. So we're in the middle of this forest area. And this area here is actually called, on the sign it says, uh, rest and be thankful, which we thought was really strange, but it says that those were the words inscribed on a stone here by soldiers who built the military road in the 1740s. So there you go. So you can sit here, rest, and be thankful. It's maybe the most appropriately named rest stop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, check out <laughs> the views. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah. And this is actually the town that we're gonna be going to, so we're not too far away. Parking lot's full, but I think these people are leaving. That's lucky, because it looks pretty crowded. We've arrived to the town of Inverary. So this town is very small, less than a thousand people. 
sits right on the water over here. It's actually just outside of Loch Lomond National Park, which is some of the stuff we've been driving through. Absolutely insane scenery. Ooh, it's lovely. And yeah. it's really overcast, but it's not raining, so that's great. Yeah, it's actually a really nice day. When you're bundled up like this, it's great. I love this kind of weather. But uh, I think that um, we're going to probably grab a bite to eat before we do anything else. I looked up a place. I don't know if it's going to be any good. We might just be bumbling around trying to find something. But <laughs> yeah, we'll find something one way or another. I'll let Eric plan today, so stay tuned to see how that goes. They gave us the biggest table in the land. Table fit for a king and queen. <laughs> this place is called Brambles. I think it's attached to a hotel called Brambles. Um, but I just kind of stumbled upon it on Google and it had really good ratings. Um, it's very crowded and it looks pretty cool. Um, we were just looking over the menu. Probably going to stick with the sandwiches because they're the most affordable option. But. Lunch has arrived. I went with the trusty old brie and I think it was plum chutney. I don't think I've ever had plum chutney. We both opted for soup, which today is tomato soup. And then it comes with some tortilla chips and a little side salad. A nice little, little lunch, all for under 10 pounds. Welcome to Inverary Castle. This beauty was built in 1743. Sadly, it replaced a 15th century castle that was built here originally because it was torn down and then this was put up. One site actually said that the town of Inverary was moved so that this castle could be built here and be secluded, which is pretty crazy if that's true. Also, fun fact, part of an episode of Downton Abbey was filmed here. The castle grounds were pretty quiet, um, but then I think like a tour bus showed up or something like that. So, so now it's crawling with other tourists. We're, we have our heart set on a shot from right here for Instagram, but we're just waiting for a window where I don't have to, I'll, I'll Photoshop some people out if I have to, but I'm waiting for a window where I don't have to do so much work. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we'll see. I don't know, we've been waiting about five, 10 minutes. We'll give it another five or 10 and then maybe, Yeah. I don't What's know. it worth to you? <laughs> That's yeah. the question you gotta ask. Well, you'll see if it, if it, we might pop it up here if it works. <laughs> We got the Success. shot! Yeah. Just, Just gotta have some patience. Yes, lots and lots of patience. A lot of non-patience and then us being like, all right, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah, off camera we get a little <laughs> annoyed by it, but it's like, you can't get that upset because I understand they're here just like us trying to take pictures and if we want to get it to ourselves we just have to get here early but, uh, but can't best, help but get a little annoyed by it. The best karma is when we're trying to get a photo, somebody walks into our photo to get their photo and then somebody walks into their photo. That actually just happened and she was like, ha ha. Because the person you. was getting so angry and I was like, what do you think we're thinking, guy? The castle is pretty magnificent. It's sitting at the base of this hill, this majestic hill in the back. And I think there's a little tower on top of that hill actually. Yeah. And the color of the castle is awesome. It's probably my favorite colored castle that we've been to. It's this really interesting blue green. I have never seen stonework like that before. Yeah, it it's just fits cool. in the scenery so well. Yeah. And right now we're actually walking through the garden area. So you can pay five pounds just to access the garden and the grounds around the castle. We want to do a couple other things so we don't really have time to go inside, no. but it's only 10 pound if you want to go inside as well, which we highly recommend if you're making a whole day out of it for sure. There's also a little tea room here, so if it's oh, a little yeah. chilly or you're feeling peckish, you could head down there. And if we didn't just have a cappuccino, we'd oh, be doing we would that. Be down there. We're out of here. Bye, beautiful castle. See you later. See you in our dreams. Yeah, maybe that'll be our starter castle. That's our starter castle. Yeah. He's clearly guilty. Isn't he guilty? We're in the jail right now and we've just entered the courtroom because this actually used to be a jail as well as a courthouse. But check this out. 
it really creeped me out because it feels like there's a room full of people in here when you walk in, but it's just a bunch of really creepy dummies. <laughs> God, I feel like they're gonna turn their head and look at me. So we pretty much have this place to ourselves and they gave us this handy little audio guide which tells us everything we need to know about the jail and the courthouse. So in this room, you have the jury back there and back then, jurors could only be male, of course. And over there, that guy who's sandwiched between the two police officers is the person on trial who's accused of committing the crime. And then this person is just kind of arguing as a witness. And then right here, you have this table full of white-haired gentlemen who are arguing the case and they have a bunch of legal documents up there trying to figure out what their version of the truth is. It's all quite interesting and very lifelike. <laughs> Almost it's, creepy lifelike. It's really creepy. I keep thinking one of these guys is going to move and then I'm out of here. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Just living that good old jail life. <laughs> you guys, they're just screams coming. Oh god, I don't like it. I feel like I'm in like a one of those like ghost yeah, TV like shows house. or something. Like paranormal activity stuff. This is wild. They actually put children in prison. That's crazy. Wash the dishes! I washed them, damn it! Leave me alone! Revolt! No! <laughs> We're breaking out of this joint. You guys, this is so creepy. You can actually lock the door and be locked in here like you're in prison. You better unlock the door! Sorry, parking meter's up! Don't leave me! Should've washed the no. dishes better! Bye! I thought I was busting out of here! You guys, there's a man in the parking lot selling fish out of a van over here. I think we're <laughs> gonna go see what like it's about. Sounds like a great time to us. That's a that's a headache there. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's One of those, perfect. That's yeah, perfect. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy all that, guys. Yeah, yeah see you guys. <laughs> Nothing like fish from a truck. Yeah, those guys were super nice, but yeah. uh, we got a bag full of basically dinner. We have fish, we have vegetables, we got everything we need. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna head home and cook it up. All right, we are back at our Airbnb and we cooked up all the goodies that we got from random guy in a van. <laughs> and uh, we got some fish here and a little vegetable medley yeah. and a little uh, lemon over there. It looks real good. Yeah. Nice job. I was just editing the vlog while she was yeah. cooking, so yeah. she did all the handiwork. Yeah, well, we underestimated the kitchen. I thought it was fully stocked. Wasn't quite, but we may do. I think it turned out all right. We're splitting a little bottle of white wine, Chardonnay, because we found out that that goes well with fish. That's what it said on the <laughs> bottle. We were like, all right, sounds good. Yeah, also, you guys, check out this epic like laundry room. Yeah, we've kind of exploded all over the room. This is what we have to do when we do laundry because we rarely get to do it. So when we do it, we have to wash everything and there's never enough room to hang everything. Even when they have a hanging rack, there's just yeah. never enough room. We have so much stuff and it's really cold in this apartment. So nothing dried today. So we've had this little heater mm. running all night. So it's really hot in here, but things are finally drying. So that's good. But I think we're just going to eat. Eric's still got some vlog to edit, I think. Yeah. I got some... Uh, places to book for the to finalize our trip and then we're off to Fife tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. We got a lot of fun adventures planned. Yeah, yeah. I cannot wait. All right, good night adventures. We'll see you on the road.